Hi everyone, how you doing? Welcome to What's Her Share Show. I'm Candice and this is Daniela. And we are here to show you what's in the shares. It is Valentine's week and I wanted to tell you we love having you as our share subscribers. We wouldn't be doing a lot of this without you. And uh, we just want to show you what's in the shares and maybe give you a few ideas in case you want a little uh, little spark of creativity to use up your fruits and veggies this week. So Daniela, take it away. Okay. So in the um, small share, you will eat, you will have your cauliflower, your bacon potatoes, which is also known as reset potatoes, your thyme for herbs, and you will have your pink lady. And you will also have empire. You will have your onions, your carrots, your fennel, and you will, you will either receive in your share of romaine or the green leaf lettuce, one of both. Um, and a quick recipe that I like to do with the bacon potatoes is just to cut them down in squares and use a little bit of onion, salt, and pepper. And then with the cauliflower, I just boil it and just eat it like that. Mm -hmm. With the carrots, eat them with ranch. And the romaine, I like to eat them. I like to cut it down and put it in Caesar salad. It's so good in salad, yeah. 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 That's cool. And then you had um, an idea for beets too, oh, yeah. right? Over yeah. in the large. Yeah, so basically, you know, we just wash them, you know, well. We peel them with, yeah. with the thing that we peel the potatoes mm -hmm. with. And then I just cut it down and put a little bit of salt and um, lime on it. Okay. Lime does a lot in yeah. recipes. Yes, lemon does. and lime. Mm -hmm. Great, awesome. Thank you. And then over here to the largest, we got those baking okay. recipe potatoes. I did share a real simple recipe about just how to bake potatoes. Um, many ways to do it. Uh, it the the share has like a lot of. Uh, um, sorry. It has a lot of advice about how to just make like the best tasting, you know, baked potato. And then we've got some Brussels sprouts and onions. Hard to imagine any soup starting without an onion and this is definitely soup weather. And then we got some beets and carrots. Here's fennel. Um, it's good. Raw has a nice licorice -y flavor, very common in Mediterranean cooking. And then you can also cook with this. Uh, I love to slice it and roast it. You can just slice off the bottom when, when you want to use your fennel. Slice off the top. These are called fronds, and you can use these as well. Um, but the main part they use is down here, and you can just slice it up, put it in salad, roast it, grill it. There's another recipe for this on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And here's some mint. It's so refreshing, especially in winter time. Um, really nice flavor. I love to just eat this after like a strong meal as a breath freshener. It's great. You can even pack it in tea. tea. Oh, it's great yeah, tea. tea. I love it. And thyme. Um, it's thyme in all the shares. So uh, it did post uh, 10, uh, 10 different ways that you can use thyme. I particularly like it in stews, soups, and also in roasted veggies. It gives a really nice earthy flavor. So here's empire apples. There's those round ones and pink lady apples. Uh, they're a bit more tapered. This is a little bit tartar, not like a Granny Smith, but it does have like a nice tang to it. And empire sweet and it's crispy as well. Here's that romaine or green leaf lettuce. So lots of salad possibilities here. There is cauliflower. And here's escarole. You've been seeing that a lot lately. Um, it grows well in the cooler weather, especially when it's in a greenhouse. So we've got either escarole Another cool weather lover, this is spring rob. It's a lot like broccoli rob, but it doesn't have so many flowers. It has more greens. You can use it the same way you would broccoli rob. And then over here to the fruit shares, we got some boss pears. We 
we got some pink ladies. I did post a really cute recipe. It's a heart-shaped heart using apples. And pink ladies work real well with that. It's just in time for Valentine's week. And there is a quart of peaches. And these are so yummy. It's like a little taste of summer in the jar. So hope you enjoy these. And we are hoping, weather permitted, to be down in our uh, hydroponics greenhouse next week to film the show for you. Hopefully it won't be too rainy or anything. We can make our way down. So we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.